The school is giving 20 scholarships to distribute to three departments based on student population. Use the Hamilton method to determine how many scholarships are given to each department. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what is the portion that each department has in regards to the entire population. So we're going to add up all of the number of students. So 198 plus 315 plus 520. So there's 1,033 students. So to figure out each quota for each department, we're going to take the number of students in that department and divide it by the total population. So that will give us a percentage. And then we're going to take that percentage and multiply it by the 20 scholarships to figure out how many scholarships each department should have. So to figure out each quota, we'll start with math. We're going to take the 198 students and divide it by the entire population. So that would be 198 divided by 1,033. So that would be about 19%. So that means the math department should get 19% of the scholarships. So that means we're going to multiply this by 20. Okay, so 198 divided by 1,033 times 20 gives us a quota of about 3.833. You do the same thing for English. So 315 students out of the entire student population for these three departments. So that would give us the percentage. So now we want to take that times 20. And this gives us about 6.099. So then for psychology, it takes up a bigger part. So they should get more scholarships. So 520 divided by 1,033. So that percentage times the number of scholarships will give us their quota. So 10.068. Okay, so in doing the Hamilton method, the first thing we do is assign each category the lower quota. So rounding down, math would get 3, English would get 6, psychology would get 10. So all together, 19 scholarships have been given out. Keep in mind that there were 20 total, so one of these is going to get one more. So the Hamilton method tells you to assign that to whichever category has the highest amount left over. So in other words, the fractional part. So if we look at just the number that's after the decimal, whichever one is higher should get the leftover. So 833 is higher than the other two, so math is going to go up by one. So the final allocation here is that math will get four, English will get six scholarships, and psychology will get ten. And so altogether we have our 20 scholarships.